Hey guys, this is Bubbles. Um, welcome. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, to be totally honest with you. In fact, I'm starting to learn that I probably should record intros after I've done the video, so that way I know what's going to happen. But basically, we are unbelievably close to a very revolutionary moment in Dead by Daylight. A moment where medkits are going to be killed, Dead Hard is going to be greatly nerfed, Circle of Healing isn't going to be busting games anymore, Pain Resonance isn't going to be carrying killers to victory. It is just overall looking absolutely sick right now. And I am really, really happy for it. I'm, I'm happy to be here um, along for the ride uh, as we all experience this together. And I'm happy to be covering it as somebody who loves Dead by Daylight, who loves um, recording and streaming for you guys. Um, and even though I've been a bit busy recently, and I'm going to be busy for the next few weeks, unfortunately. The fortunate thing is that I will be trying to get some stuff done anyway, because this is actually really, really fun for me. Anyway, as for today, I actually wasn't really sure, um, what I was going to do for this video. Um, I've been testing out some video features, trying to figure out how to improve my recordings, make them look a lot better, because the last one was dog shot, and I'm totally aware of that, okay? You don't need to tell me. I, I, I can tell, and I'm not sure how to strike a balance when it comes to stream recordings, um, because that's where the settings get really, really overcomplicated, and there is, um, I've got a balance being, making sure the stream quality is great, but making sure that the recording quality is great, and making sure that the stream actually runs, it's just, it's a little bit frustrating, and I, it's hard to get everything correct, um, so yeah, I'm not really sure the answers to that yet. But, I think I found a way to record very, very nicely. And so we're going to put that to the test today. We are going to just play some games. Um, kind of the last hurrah, I guess, for the update comes through and makes things much nicer. But when we go into this, remember the facts as, as they follow. Pain Resonance is on the chopping block. That's about to go. I'm not going to be running that this game. Um, but that, that that's a nice thing. Gearhead's getting a buff. It's going to be a really, really nice perk. And I'm actually planning on doing some videos with Gearhead when it drops. Especially on Artist. I've got some feelings that Artist and Gearhead are going to get along pretty well. I am going... Medkits are getting the the chopping block. Dead Hard's getting the chopping block. Um... Circle of Healing game, the chopping block. It's genuinely going to be such an amazing experience because survivors aren't going to be able to keep prolonging a game anymore. And killers have one less perk to keep prolonging the game. I don't know. It's just a good change. and I'm really, really excited for it. We'll see how much bullshit we have to put up with today that has to do with these, uh, these perks. Because, yeah, realistically, win or lose, I'm thinking a lot of these matches are going to come down to factors that are going to be non-factors. Um, in a week's time. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, Azeroths. This map is uh is actually on the chopping block. Um, so already that's uh one change that we can look forward to. Anyway, uh, I did notice that some of the players in this lobby are actually uh comp players. So, and not just bad comp players, but um players that know what they're doing. Okay, nice. We, um, yeah, I didn't go into this match really knowing what I was going to be going against. Fuck. Where's the map? He's also set to become my end session the second that I, uh... Yeah. 
So I don't want you to mistake that for a tea bag of uh, of disrespect, even though that it might have been. Ah! Um, but that was definitely him trying to bait that he was going to drop power. My hope is that he's uh that this team isn't super prepared for what I'm running because I don't have much gem protection. Um, I don't even know if I should be kicking Jens to be totally honest. I probably should be, but... I don't even know how she saw me, to be honest. Yay! <laughs> See what I mean? Like, so, obviously I can't tell for Nia and Nancy. Um, because they've got, um, private display names. But I can make pretty good guesses. Um. Like, the way that they're using comp corners is, is, is like, an excellent example. They're, they're good with baits too, I'll, I'll admit, I haven't been playing much killer recently. Uh, and he's showing. I, I need to divert into these guys, there's uh... Sorry, Nance. Again, it's not ideal, um, but we kind of just got to do this. Oh shit! Didn't even notice. I'm gonna see if he. Shit, no. I was hoping he might play as though I didn't see him, um, but he just assumed. Probably makes sense. Um, shit, yeah, this isn't a good situation to me. The entire map is nice and spread, and unfortunately, um, I just need to basically get her out, I think. I don't have much better options here, um, so, again, apologies Nancy. If you guys really play comp, you're not even going to really give a shit about this. Unfortunately, my, uh, my options are very limited.
He's wanting to go down the pallet. That was a big gamble, but I was hoping that I, I bought myself enough distance. I'm not sure if they've gathered what I'm dealing with, because I haven't explicitly tried to, um... Well, I haven't tried to make it super obvious that I'm playing around with plenty of food. That was good, Peps. Yeah, they're making me work for this first one. Uh, and the worst part is that we don't get stealth. We can't activate stealth. Jeez, he got himself healed well, that quickly. That might have seemed really dumb, but I was actually, uh... Oh, I forgot I didn't have Nemesis. I did a stupid, though. I'm trying to pretend like I'm ignoring Nia, um, for the sake of, uh, play the food. And she, she definitely hasn't clocked it yet. He thought he had it. To be fair, he should've. Um, apart from my pack. Give me more speed. I 
I don't want to waste my probably food sack on a on a whiff, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm not I'm not toying with her. Nice. Okay. I don't know if they're going breakable, but uh. Okay. God, that was sweaty. But it, it is, it is like I said, I've checked. There, one of the at least one of these players is uh, is comp. Um, I'm presuming most of the team is. Sorry, I haven't even looked at you much. I <laughs> God, that was one hell of a first match. I don't I don't know if there's such thing as a second match I could play that would even remotely Nah. Alright, I'll give you a hatch. Cause the, these guys played really well. I um Did I just spawn here? I don't know if Hatch spawn. I don't want to check my offering because then she's gonna try and wiggle out, and uh, I'd rather just get this over and done with. This is fun though. I uh, I used to be a ghost face main back in the day. Like I'd, I'd always play the hit and run strat. Uh, the problem was it became unviable after a while, and I, I think part of it's that people discovered that medkits were too powerful. Sorry, just had it. Okay. That was fun. God, that was fun. <laughs> uh, how am I gonna top that? Okay, family residence. I'll admit, I noticed that in my first game, I ran add-ons about stalking people. Uh, they ran add-ons, but even still, I decided rather than waste my add-ons. I'm going to run some slightly different ones. One of which being this. So now I don't lose my night shroud when I do that. I probably should have let it stun me. Um, because then I would have gotten the speed boost. I don't know. I was just playing clown earlier and uh... It was a lot more challenging experience. But yeah, so my Night Shroud recovery recovers 6%, 6, percent, six seconds faster, um, and I don't lose my Night Shroud when I swipe, which should be quite nice, because I sometimes just do that accidentally. Heard that. He was so sure I was going to walk past him, I think. Oh, I keep thinking I've got Nemesis on. I literally, I, I, I said at the start, oh yeah, I should have let that girl stun me. Um, but that wouldn't have changed anything, because I don't have Nemesis. Uh, a lot of the time when I run this kind of build, I run Nemesis with it, to kind of just buff my uh, obsession binding skills. Um, but I'm running... Fuck. I'm running Fearmonger uh, instead, because it's fucked up. I've, and I've realized that's probably part of the reason why I'm not seeing any dead hearts, or at least not feeling it as badly. Yeah, this is good. And I'm pretty sure Shiva ran into a corner, which is what I want. I, uh, I didn't want a tunnel Shiva. I just knew that um, guaranteed survivor 
uh, wherever she was. The fact that that's a wall was really, really irritating. If he's tank enhanced, decisive is probably on the menu. Nice. I'm really glad that that kicked in when it did. Um, because there was a chance I was going to give me the uh, play food stack as I hit him. Okay. Do you have DS? I've done that intentionally because I knew that he was going to give me a obsession token thing. an evil guy. If he's our obsession now, he may as well just use the fact that he uh, he likes to play quite safe. I uh, I know I could have hit him through the pallet. I uh, I just I, I didn't think I was gonna make it. It's that simple, really. There is probably an element of benefit coming out of Fearmonger because I, I I said I wasn't gonna play Killer with the intention of abusing any of the things that are gonna get patched within a week. Um, but Fearmonger comes with a side benefit of, um, making people scared of pain rest. So yeah, there may be the smallest teeny weeny benefit coming out of that. She, did, she didn't know how to handle it. Okay, I timed that wrong, but... I got that. <sighs> Can't lie, I kind of preemptively did the mind game, and she, she even though she fell for it anyway, it was, it was like she was uh, delayed a second. She could have just stood there and been totally fine, but I um, kind of jumped the gun a little bit. So I'm, I'm glad that she played along. Okay, we need to get rid of that. I don't know why that window spawned there, but that's actually really, really irritating. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad to be playing Ghostface again. Um, earlier on, I was, uh, I was playing Clown, trying to tinker with the settings a little bit. And we kept getting, like, really, really strong teams. Um, and I wouldn't say I was running the most meta of builds either. But the thing is, I'm not doing that here either. I'm not really running any gen defense on this. Um, 
But Clown is also a killer I've got a lot less experience with. I understand a lot worse than Ghostface. Um, his mechanical capabilities are different to Ghostface, and I don't know. E even though Ghostface sneak up value isn't too much, and I'm not really taking advantage of the instant down ability, I would argue that I am not too bad. I haven't really meant to focus certain characters down, but I don't think I've hooked Chris or um, Vittorio once. Not by intention, but it's just the way that they played. Fucking dead odd, don't you, bro? Oh no, I have hooked you. I missed it, but I heard him work on the generator when I was looping Chris around the uh, around the generator. That was kind of the telltale. I'll admit this uh, this costume is also meant to be a slight distraction element too. It's bright blue, and so you think, okay, Ghostface is easy to spot if he's bright blue. But it means that people get thrown off a lot more by the lack of terror it is. Now that... ...is funky. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little bit of a bane for us here. Unfortunately, our gates are unbelievably far away from each other. And I don't think we have much of a chance here. Actually, no, we're all good. Sorry, bro, you dead hearted me one too many times. It's like I said, there was probably a good chance I was going to lose a lot of these matches, or at the very least be able to survive. Um, because people want to abuse the things that are abusable, and that oh, makes sense. I'm, I'm not going to... It's not even really abusing, it's a game mechanic. But people know that it's going away, so they're, they're taking full advantage of it. It's also 100% why I was considering running a survivor match in this, um... But I've decided against it. Because... I don't know. It just... <laughs> Survivor is losing a lot of stuff. Like, and, and so the best thing I could probably do... There's a, there's a chance I could get Pain Resonance, but not guaranteed. Uh, in, in reality, to showcase any of this in my video and be like, Oh yeah, well, all this stuff's going. The, the best I could do is run a build that just abuses... Um, med kits and stuff. Let me show you. I, like, <laughs> there is no better way to test this than to show people. Um, not through playing a match. I, I can't be asked. So I'm a Kate main. I, I, I have most of my gear on Kate. Um, now, obviously, some of these numbers may be a little bit lower depending on what I've been using recently. But as a general rule of thumb, I, uh, I have a lot of stuff. A fuck of a lot of stuff. And it wouldn't be too much to ask to just run a, a Pearl Med Kit and then to run Gel Dressing on it. 
Um, I'm not sure on the numbers as to what this will do for me. This will give me another half a heal. Um, so for the minute, let's just run the 15% uh, the healing speed bonus. So this is already three heals on its own. Like we, we, And we're only just getting started on what we can do. If you wanted to be really evil, what you can do is you can run Streetwise. And you might go, okay, well, Streetwise gives you 20, 25% more charges. Um, that isn't going to really do much uh, like for you with this build. It'll give you 75% of a heal. But if you wanted to be really clever with it, you can just run Botany Knowledge. Wherever it is. There. And now, suddenly, this 20%, it's, it's a little bit complicated without showing you the mathematics itself. But basically, the 20% uh, reduction in healing efficiency uh, with items um, clashes perfectly with the streetwise. So much so, they basically cancel each other out. And what you get if you run this is you give everyone around you your 25% bonus to their, their speed um, to their efficiency with items, uh, and you give yourself 50% healing speed. Now you got 65% bonus healing speed on your medkit, in addition to the fact that it's three, uh, three heals. And that is not even getting into the fact that Build to Last exists, or other healing perks, but I'd argue that probably your best bet is to run Build to Last. This now makes it so that when you run out of charges, go into a locker, you get 99% of your charges back. Hit a couple of great skill checks, that'll cover that 1% nice and easy. Um, that means you got six heals in this match, basically for free, with no effort, at a greatly increased speed. I don't think I've even done this optimally. Um, there are probably better ways to do it. Um, especially as you, there are ways you can run Lucky Break and Overcome and stuff to really abuse medkits. But the fact of the matter is, medkits are in a really, really bad spot right now. So I'm really, really happy to see that they're going. Um... Admittedly, that's going to make my ghost face gameplay a little bit stronger because people can't rely on Boon Circle of Healing. Oh yeah, I completely forgot Boon Circle of Healing. This bastard gives people 50% bonus to healing others, as well as the fact that it allows you to heal yourself. Um, oh god. Like, even if it's got the self-healing is done at 50% normal speed, even if it's got that little caveat to it, it is still a pest. It is still unbelievably painful because it's just so much self-healing for free with no drawbacks. I don't know. I am... Um, if you're going to call me a main of either survivor or killer, I, I'm kind of balanced in both. But if you wanted to call me one, you'd probably call me a survivor main. But I, even I look at this and go, this is busted. This needed changing. And I'm so glad it's getting changes. Sorry, that's a little bit of a rant. Um, I'm just going to chuck this on the end of the video. Uh, I probably have already made it slightly longer than it needed to be. Uh, I consider chucking on the match, but I feel like that will also make it a little bit too long. And also rob you guys of some lovely stream time, hopefully sometime. But thank you everyone for watching. I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, th this has been Ranty Sensei. <laughs> nah, for realsies, I'm really excited for this update. I'm really, really down for it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I, I'll be playing a lot more Killer com coming this update. Unfortunately, it's felt like survivors have been sweating a lot more because um, they know that they're going to be losing a lot of their stuff. So they want to get their clips in. They want to get their videos done. They want to get their montages. They want to just fe feel good about themselves, get their blood points, rake them in um, before they lose access to a lot of the things that make them really, really uh, solid at the game. Um... But yeah, and also, just a quick side note, give this build a try. This build's awesome. I really love it. Uh, totally recommend it. 10 out of 10. It also runs really well on characters like um, Onryo as well, um, who I would have run if I had party streamers or something on her, but I don't, so, you know. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.